Hello everyone, so today we will proceed with our tutorials and let's create a plane. Yeah. Let's increase the size a bit. Yeah. Great. So I will now assign new material. I don't want to have any reflection, so I will assign simple Lambert. Great. And uh, for this Lambert, we will import from file. A texture which I've prepared, the simple texture, as hook the texture here, great. Yeah, as you can see, we will try to create something similar, not exact. I want, I don't want to be exact in this particular case. However, we need to have some kind of reference here. Great. So we will try to work right now on the sub D modeling. Yep, it will be very nice, very cool, very light. And when we will smooth the asset, we will get, let's say, the asset and pretty decent loops. I've just uh, created a sphere and let's throw it subdivisions so up to 16. Okay, so let's increase a bit of size. To fit our image, yeah. In general, I have a script for an X ray, but probably you new to Maya if you're looking in this tutorial, so you won't have a script a script by default. So let's select object which assign it as you can see Lambert and just add transparency to that, yeah. And now we can see through our object yeah and now we can start modeling okay so on the size perspective something like that and uh, we want to select okay we want to select each second edge this edge yeah where's uh where should be this points the longer points, let's say, yeah, of the gear. Okay. So we just select them all. Yeah, great. Control B in order to bevel it. And as I mentioned, then we'll start using uh, shortcuts because we need to work faster and faster, you know. So, uh, yeah, in general, you will see all the shortcuts in here in the left bottom corner. Great. So let's select again, not bevel lines. Yeah. And we need to just scale it in. Or I don't know, it's not a scale. Or, okay. Probably you understand. I'm just scale it in, not in, in into out over here. Yeah. Okay, so uh, okay, Control B. Let's add some segments, or probably it will it will be good. I want to have a uh, uh, center line in here and here. We can split this area and duplicate it later over um, over all the 360 angle. Yeah. But right now we're working on the shape and uh, some, let's say, topology. Great. Okay, so I want to increase the fraction a bit. And I don't know, maybe later on we will talk a little bit more about the bevel because when we will work with uh, sub-D or uh, hard surface models, we need to know how to use a bevel. I know that uh, I've created the tutorial for beginners about the bevel. The left corner was a shortcut for a knife tool. Okay. So, yeah, but in general, what I want to say that, uh, no.
I even forgot what I wanted to say. Okie dokie. So, let's, let's try to, yeah, just done, done, bug you, but, I'm not useful information, let's say. Okay, but just try to check on the left corner which tools I'm using. Right now I was using world tool. And, uh, yeah, so just build it the points. And later on, when you will be modeling, you will use shift space in order to have a little bit more work area. Yeah. Or, uh, for example, control space, you will be able to see a lot of, let's say, workspace. Yeah. But, um, in order to be easier to follow up for you. You can use let's let's say we work built here. Okay, so what's next? I will delete these lines for now. We don't need it. And uh probably we don't need this too as well. Control delete in order to delete with the vertex points. Great. So I will probably Probably I will weld this point and this one as I need this line. Great. Okay, so we need some kind of connector. Maybe we can try to. Okay, 10 uh, 10%. Great, so I will do the same thing on the other side. And, uh, yeah, I don't like this area. We need transition, so okay, just try to do welding in here. Okay, and we will repeat like that with a center line. And now, probably I will delete it for now. Great. So, what do we have in here? Okay, so we can start deleting the mesh. We don't need this part. We don't need, whoopsie. A bit too much, yeah. Okay, we don't need the bottom part as well. So basically, all this work was done only because of this part. Great, so we know already how the duplicate special, special works, yeah. I will reset the settings, I will set the instance, great, and uh, yeah, I will just use the shortcut key to duplicate, okay, no, how many I want, I'll probably I will do full circle, I will delete them as well, but just in order to better Visualize. Okay, so let's enable the wireframe. Yeah, great. So, what we can do? We can play with a topology. Uh, probably I will select this part and something went wrong with our our duplicate special. Okay, so just didn't work as I can see. Okay, so no, not a big problem. Okay. So let's try to do bevel in this area. Okay, something like that and probably in this as well. Okay, control B. And right now we will remove the chamfer. I want just to have these uh, nice lines on our mesh. And let's check this out how it will look. It will look great as this part. Oops! Again, I will select that uh, that part and add it to a display layer and reference it in order to not delete it again. Okay. 
So uh, what we can do next, probably I will delete this part as well. Great. So what we can do now, we can try to move this size a bit, just a bit, something like that. Yep. Okie dokie. So probably I will clear everything and uh, probably I will duplicate it. I will type it minus one into the X. You can see or duplicate the just flip in the Y axis. Yeah, we'll just center everything again. Maybe something like that. Okay, we will scale it later if we will need that. Okay, so just select these both objects. I will combine them into a singular mesh. Great. I need this part. I need this part too. Okay, so we can use the bridge tool. Awesome. We don't need this part as well. Great. So, okay. So let's check this out. If the duplicate special is working or not. No, this doesn't work. I don't know why. Let's check this out. Okay, it's a copy, not an instance. I have not applied this setting. This is the reason why. Okay, by the way, um, as you can see, rotating by the degree increment. So if you want to have such ability, just press uh, in here with step snap by 15 and it will be rotating by 15 degree increments. Okay, so let's do another duplicate and let's check this out. Yep, it's working great. Okay. Okay, and that looks pretty similar, yep. Great. So, what we can do next? We need to have in here circle. As I can see from the image. And, uh, yeah, basically simple like that we can just try you know oh i will probably merge it select all oops i will select all vertices and merge vertices great let's check this out all vert are uh, merged and uh, you can see in here in this okay i will probably do bit darker background in order to easier to see you and if you don't know how to enable this just go to the windows whoops oops and display show and uh wait a second heads up display and show poly count just tick this uh this square and that's it and you will get that uh let's say informational bar yeah great so what we can do next we can select this line and just circleize and just try to play with it with awesome okay so you have circleized that one okay let's do the same thing okay, in here in the bottom part Maybe you know, I will just in order to be precise. So I don't okay, let's do it again, and uh, yeah, I'll we'll try to align it as much as I can. Something like that looks. 
decent and the photo for a bottom part probably I won't play it I will just try to separate the bottom part right now oops there's some kind of issues we can see I don't know the reason but probably this is the reason why I got this error Okay, so let's delete the bottom part and yeah as you can see problems appeared somewhere merge operation wasn't performed correctly oh well but say happens hmm. so what I will do next probably I will try to snap somewhere in the center and I will try to perform merge operation let's check this out and I don't like this spot okay let's delete it okay so go for all 360 angle let's check this out okay I'll just delete this words which was uh, probably the problem of this issue okay so what we can do next we can please clear the history and definitely duplicate minus one in the y-axis and uh, yeah just try to combine them and merge the vertices great so we have something like that pretty pretty cool okay so okay, give me a second let's check this out okie dokie so we need to have so probably i will shrink it down a bit just a bit because i want to have uh, let's say a loop in here as well so i will bevel this line something like that great probably i will shrink the fraction a bit just a bit okay and probably i will insert one segment and i will delete this line okay so what we'll do next i will select this ring awesome let's extrude it down just a bit i will select the edge perimeter and um, yeah we will probably i'll select that one two and just bevel it okay i will remove the chamfer okay i will increase a bit to try to look for a middle ground in here great and we still as you can see in the quads okay so right now we can start applying the probably blend material because when you're working on the hard surface uh, my advice is to start working with a blend material so uh, yeah but uh, give me a second I will try to do an extrusion in here awesome one more time and one more time and one more great so uh, okay let's try to work back there a bit i want to have a some kind of like a bottleneck in here or something like that and here right now i'm modeling in the smooth preview as you can see okay and just bevel this line 
And as you can see, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just babbling, babbling, babbling. All the smash. Babbling, babbling, babbling. Great. So, uh, we have something like that. Mm hmm. Probably I'll bevel again. Why? Okay. Okay, okay. Let's play a bit. Just a bit. Okay, so I want to have like a, like a handle or something like that. Okay, so let's assign new material. That will be a blend. And uh, right click, blend. Probably I will make it a bit darker. Let's increase the shininess in order to see better if we have uh, any let's say errors in bending or something like that okie dokie so we can check the reflections on the via reflections we can spot the errors right as you can see when you walk into the quads the errors rarely appear and uh, yes, we add it in here, support appliance. So, this is the reason why this three angles, as you can see. Yes, you can see. Oh, we have a three angles. Just try to remove, remove each second triangle, and that's it. It will be a what? Yep, great. So, uh, let's check this out. Don't have any issues from above, from the bottom side as well. Probably I will do, uh, let's say, no, probably I will make another extrusion down here just to be sure. So, something like that. Just double again, remove the chamfer, and we have something like that. Great, so we have the first part yeah, of the sub D module with which we will proceed a little bit later and uh, yeah we will have uh, much more parts in order to create our let's say prop which I already have a small concept but uh, it's very ugly so i don't want to show you and uh yeah we will be working on uh, you know on uh, simple assets like that and later on we will glue it up everything and you will see what we will get in the end result so stay tuned and goodbye